Well, welcome to the Berkus Report. This is the very first time that we've had a report such as this, and I'm very happy and enthused to be able to share with you ideas for entrepreneurs and for business people that I hope that you can use over the years. I've written about this for years now in books called Birkonomics, and what I've done in these writings is to try and encapsulate stories of entrepreneurs who have succeeded wildly, who have failed <laughs> wildly as well, and try and develop lessons from each one of those. And since I've been doing this since 1993, I have hundreds of these lessons that I've written about. So that's what we'll do in the Berks Report. You and I will talk about things that I hope that you can take away the same lessons that I'm trying to give you about some of these things. So let's pick just two of them for this first Berkus Report edition. The first is something taught to me by one of the CEOs that I had helped to finance in the company that uh, we just sold after 12 years, just this last year. And the CEO said, you know, there are three things we like to measure as we relate to almost any business. And you can remember them very easily with three letters. The letters are A, M, D. And it's true of all of us in almost every business we have. The A is accumulate as many different ways to price your product to the various kinds of constituents that you're going to sell it to. Or accumulate as many different products if you're a retailer to be of interest to your customers. But accumulate so you're not just selling one product at one price. Then there is M. If you're a retailer, that means merchandising. And if you're anybody else, it really means marketing. And to be able to market well whatever you have is the skill that helps you develop a broad marketplace for whatever products that you now have in that arsenal of products that you developed, M. And D, you may not have ever thought about this, but if you distribute through only one source, one retail website, for example, one store, your chances of exposure are really not very good. And so if you find multiple places where you have multiple outlets, whether they be virtual by the internet or whether they be real by stores, your opportunities are multiply much better. So AMD, accumulate more ways to sell your product and products to sell. M, market or merchandise them well and in many different channels if you can. And D, distribute them in as many places as you can. A, M, D. Pretty easy to remember, right? So I have another story that I love to tell. You know I finance entrepreneurs and I've been doing this since 1993 and I've financed hundreds of entrepreneurs. I coach many of them. That's a joy that I have. But sometimes some strange twists happen and I'm going to tell you a twist as the second and last story for today. I had a chief programmer in a company that I was running myself, and I saw him leave me in 1990. And he left because he didn't want to be a chief programmer with 26 employees, he wanted to be a marketing person. And in his wisdom, and he was wise, he said, I had some ideas. And I said to him, but Tom, his name, Tom, you are responsible for thousands of hotels and their computer systems, and you're responsible for 26 employees who report to you. I just can't have you be a marketing person. And he left me, and he sold his home in Orange County, California, at the height at one of those heights that happens over time, and he left. And five years later, I received an email. You know, this is many years after that, and I keep that email today with me. I keep it wherever I go. I know you'll think that's a little strange, but I'm going to pull out a copy of that email right now. I actually have the original under glass. This is a true copy of the email from Tom five years after he left me. The date was August 26th, 1995. And it starts with, hello again, Dave. After looking around rather a lot, I've ended up as employee number seven at a retail Seattle internet startup called Amazon.com. Tom was the head of marketing at Amazon. And I told him that I couldn't have him be a marketing person. And he tells me in the middle of this email how at 1 o'clock every day, he, Jeff, and the other five stop, and they pack the books, getting them ready for the post office, and then they go back to work. And Tom, this is not part of the email, was the one who invented the affiliate program for Amazon. Hundreds of thousands of people pointing toward Amazon so that they received a small commission for books that were posed from their website. And he said, I'm looking at my stock options and I'm counting the days. You really ought to see what, I'm, what we're looking at. The founder is in round two of capital seeking. And if I had the minimum 100,000, I'd buy in this from a cautious, unnaturally dubious insider. If you'd like me to introduce you to him, I'm sure he would take your money. Sincerely, Tom. And I wrote him back. And I said, gee, Tom, great to hear from you. Keep me informed. Well, 
I'm going to ask you the question that I know that you're a little further away from me than somebody who can answer, but I'm going to ask you the question anyway. What do you think that 100000 would have been worth had I been making that investment? Two years later at their public offering in 1997, I have to give you the answer because you can't tell me from where you are. The answer was $33 million. Now let's say that I held on to it for one year more because you have to hold on to it for six months. It's one of those rules for private investors. One year after the date, it would have been the middle of 1998, what would that 100000 have been worth? And the answer is $66 million. And my answer was, Tom, keep me informed. And what's the lesson out of that one? The lesson out of that one is some of these are going to get away. Some of those opportunities for you and me in business and investing are going to get away. And we have to know that the only thing we can do is to just laugh at them because they're going to happen. So there's my lesson for the day. Smile at your successes and laugh at your failures. This is Dave. Well, thanks for watching. This was the very first Berkus Report on Ion Business. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good job. Yay. Yay. Okay. One down. <laughs> Damn. Very good. That was great. Okay, you got a picture or two? Because that'll be historic for me. That was great, huh? Thank you. <laughs>